another day, another I go. Well, it's not. It's a Peugeot 107. Same as a Citroen C1 Toyota Igo, a bit of badge engineering now. Um, hopefully, you've uh, seen the other video where we um, had to do an immobiliser repair. Now, uh, that turned into a non-communicating immobiliser repair. Now, hopefully, this is going to be the video of what I wanted to make the first time. So let's get the scanner hooked up and see what we've got this time. Okay, so customer complaint is the car cranks but it doesn't start. Now I can't show you that because they have very kindly brought it to me with a flat battery. So I'm going to have to stick that on charge, but there is enough charge in it to just get a scan. Now, today we are using, for no particular reason, the Autel MS909. Last video, if you saw it, we used the Think Tool Max. Uh, the Think Tool Max didn't come with topology, which is these network trees, um, for the Peugeot or the Citroen, but it did for the Toyota. But the Autel um, does come with it. So we're going to do a full scan. Right, so again, we can see we've got the same fault. We've got no comms with the IMO. So this isn't the... Um, B2799, B2795 fault, it is actually the no comms with the IMO fault. In actual fact, on this, all we apparently have comms with is the engine control module. Um, we're going to probe that for fault codes. So we've got no, control, uh, no fault codes in the engine ECU. Um, so we're going to flip over now, we're going to come out of this and we're going to do it in Toyota and see what Toyota has to say for itself. Okay, we're hooked up in uh, Toyota now, Toyota iGo we've got it done as, and we're going to do a quick scan on this. Again, it's got the topology, um, different layout up here though, so maybe it's just because the Peugeot 107 on Autel um, might have been the wrong model, not sure, we'll go back and double check in a minute. Right, as you can see, when we scan it in Toyota, so we've now done it under Toyota, uh, we have comms with the engine control module and the immobiliser. Whereas when we scanned it in Persia, we didn't. Airbags not communicating, which um, wasn't what it was in for. The customers complained about one fault in the airbag, so... Um, uh, the last thing to try is Citroen. Um, with these, always like to try in the different model cars, the Citroen C1, Persia 107 and Igo. Um, and you can try the different um, model year manufacturer and everything like that to, um, I'll just show you. We go in Toyota and we'll... Ah, uh, phone's ringing again. Okay, so we go Toyota, we go Igo, um, we've got uh, multi-mode manual transmission and others. We're going to try it on either of these. So again, under the uh, different protocol for Toyota, we still only have ECM and IMO. IMO is not actually showing any faults, and the engine issue is not showing any faults, but that could be because the garage that brought it here could possibly have cleared the fault codes out, but we definitely have comms with the immobiliser. This is uh, the problem when you're scanning a car. You go on, you use one tool, it'll tell you one thing. You go on another tool, it'll tell you another. You go on a different protocol, it tells you something else. So it always pays to flick between Citroen, Persia and Toyota on these. Make your own mind up. Don't listen to what the tool always tells you. So this time we're going to go in uh, European cars. We're going to try Citroen now. Auto select doesn't work on these, I know that. It's the Citroen uh, C1. Now we've got BO or B4. Uh, I think this is an early one because they did do a later one. So we're going to... Again, uh, Citroen has topology. So we're going to... Let it scroll through on the topology. So according to this, um, the Toyota just had K-Line, but this has um, CAN and it has K-Line, it has 
uh, these other ones, the other K lines, there's all types of communication lines. Anyway, we're gonna let it scroll through. Um, we wanna see it communicate with MO2. Right, so that's, uh, that's a bit of a fail for the Autel, I'm afraid, because Autel is telling me no communication with the immobiliser. Coded, whoops, coded immobiliser, stroke hands, free unit, okay. See if we try and communicate with it. No comms, but we just proved with Toyota there is comms. Um, all units are saying no comms with the airbags. Um, although the customer report, which is here, we can see, um, according to them, engine management has a fault, anti-lock brakes is no fault, airbags one, power steering no, um, no immobiliser for these guys as well. I'm not sure what brand scanner this was, it was a, uh, not sure what type of scanner they're using, but, um, Let's get another scanner out. Let's put it on charge and let's see what, um, this is the Autel. Let's see what the Think tool, which is a, a launch based tool. Let's see what the launch has to say for itself. Right, we're going for a second opinion and uh, we're using the launch based software. This is, this is the Think tool Max. Um, basically runs on launch software if you're familiar with it. Same as the Top Don. And this has much better communication. See, this is proper. Now, engine control module. Um, we also have um, power steering. We have the IMO communicating. We have communicating with the ABS, with the fault code, and we have airbags with no fault code, even though the other scanner said there was fault codes. Um, we're gonna see um, ABS fault. Mm, okay, a speed sensors, wrong number of teeth on one of the four wheels. Mm. Odd fault code. Uh, clear the fault codes and we're gonna start afresh. Uh, pop the battery on charge. Whilst it's on charge, I'm going to just go back to uh, Peugeot and Citroen now and show you what the launch base tools do with a different, uh, different make. Right, we've finished doing the scan onto Citroen. Now, as you can see, we've lost the topology, which is really handy. We only have list view. Um, but as you can see, we have engine ECU, ABS, airbags, EPS, and immobiliser. So, um, definitely a clear win for the, I always call them the launch-based systems. Uh, today, it's the uh, Think Tool Max. Um, it's not given us any trouble codes. The trouble codes were there, but previous garage has sadly cleared them out for us so um battery's flat as well because they brought it in with a flat battery um i'll put it on charge for a little while but nowhere near enough uh, i'm gonna try and give it a crank and uh let's see what what happens let's see can we see the rev counter no we can't right let's give it a crank and it runs why have they brought this car to me on a trailer? And with that, we end this video. So, in summary, um, we didn't get to make the video I wanted to make again, which was the wiring fault and the uh, scrambled immobiliser faults on this uh, particular car system. Rather than just uh, throw the video footage out, I thought I'd make a, a little video and pop it online just to show people, be careful when you're scanning cars, and if something's saying uh, no communication, try a different scanner. No matter what tool you use, whether it's a... Uh, an Autel or a Launcher or a Snap-on or a Bosch or whatever you've got, try a different tool on it often and then get used to them because uh, in today's case, the Autel didn't perform very well, yet the Think Car Max did. Um, by no means am I saying that the Autel is a bad tool and you shouldn't buy it because it is actually one of my favorite tools. Um, 
in the shop we generally use a mixture of the Autel and the launch uh, think car tools um, day in day out and what one tool won't do the other one will so my advice would be if you have one of the tools um, don't junk it and go for the other one I'm not saying don't buy this tool it's rubbish because it, the Autel is a great tool but what I'm saying is if you've got the spare money buy both of them um, as you can see in the other videos like uh, this one here that we've done on the Citroen C3 airbag um, performed really well really really quick to to scan the vehicle on, on, a, on a full scan also the Citroen Picasso uh, with Citroens and Peugeots it really is my go-to tool um, the topology is great um, it scans cars really quickly and um, you see it appear loads of times so um, I won't be junking the tool yet by any means um, particularly I, I find the MS 909 really really good for programming coding BMWs and uh, other Mercedes and things like that um, so I'm gonna leave this video here if you're interested in uh, where you can buy diagnostic tools I'm gonna leave a um, uh, links in the description and um, tell you where you can buy them if uh, if you get the chance check out our other videos and I uh, just want to say thanks for everybody that has subscribed and has watched the videos because we've just topped the thousand subscribers so um, it's really started to uh, kick off on our YouTube channel um, thanks ever so much for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one